Yo, what's up everybody? Um, rockers, music enthusiasts alike. Um, I know it's been a while since I did an upload. Like I said, I hardly ever mess with any stereo equipment other than when I'm listening to music for my own personal enjoyment. And it's summertime because I'm too focused on my HVAC hobby. But, uh, my vintage HVAC hobby to be specific. Um, however, an deal came up on Facebook Marketplace that I was not able to uh, turn down. I paid $25 for this. This is an Akai model CR-80T. And what it is, it is a uh, high quality Akai 8-track recorder with a built-in amp and an FM tuner. Actually, an AM FM tuner. That being said, I do not know if it works. It was, you know, uh, not tested as is, so. I'm gonna fire it up. It's got some funky, uh, funky uh, speaker inputs on it. So let me make it quieter for a second. Turn that off for now. Turn the radio on the garage up. Alright, so basically what we got here is um, yeah, it's got some funky speaker output, so they take an 8 ohm load, 50 hertz, 60 hertz as usual. This is your antenna connections over here. Oh, it's got a turntable input. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. So this is basically a receiver. Uh, I'm not sure if this is, this is line input and line output. These are for your speakers. But I don't know if the line output is gonna, if you can hook speakers up to that. I think that's uh, up until I saw the switch on the front. So I don't have any speaker connectors to hook up to that, but what I can try to do is hook up to the line output here and see if this little switch here kind of leads me to believe that you may actually be able to use the line output for your speaker jacks. The speaker level off, low, and high. So. We're gonna try that and see what happens. Obviously low, high, so that's probably bass, that's treble, I'd imagine. So it's, the amplifier section is pretty cheap, but like I said, it is an Akai, so I expect some decent sound quality out of it at least. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to, um, should have positioned this better. All right, so anyway, let's see if it at least lights up. That's pretty wicked looking. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna set it to 93 WMMR right off the bat. Um, let me go get some, go get two speakers quick, a cartridge to test it with, and a wire to use as an antenna. And uh, we'll go from there. Catch these in a few minutes. All right, so this is what I got so far. The speaker level output seems to do absolutely nothing. So as you can see, in fact, that speaker there is not even Oh, there we go. Now we got it. It's 99.1, the area's strongest station. See, I, have, I do have an antenna hooked up, so let's see what we got. 98.1 OGL. Billy Joel. Sounds like crap. He's a better antenna. Okay, that's MMR. So if I was actually gonna use this, I would use this as a component piece and just hook it up to just a straight amplifier or maybe possibly a power amp and uh, being done with it. This doesn't see, yeah, this doesn't do anything at all. The only way to hook the hook speakers up to is get the proper speaker jacks that this unit requires. But I can still get a decent idea of whether or if it works. Do more of what you love online with unlimited data. Lots of static and interference. All right. 
I don't have a very good antenna hooked up to it though in its defense. So that's a tape player. After all, that is what I bought it for. So I would use this as a component device instead of an amp and a receiver. We're on track two. I'm gonna take this back, play it off. Look. It's safe to say the A-track player on it doesn't work correctly at the very least. Luckily these are easy to take apart. I'll just have this lid off in less than 30 seconds. I guarantee it. So what the hell do we got going on here? See if I can load this back up. This in there like so, and see if we can get a look down as to what the hell we got going on here. This track, so I think Lord of the Rings, this track too. Yeah, it is. Let's see if it tries to click tracks on its own. Okay, tried. Cool if you get to track three. Definitely this one here. There you go. Oh, that's tape speed, never mind. Hmm. Actually, you know, I think that might have been set for uh, 50 hertz. What do we have it at now? Fifty, yeah, we needed it over here for sixty hertz. Okay, so that was correct. Wonder why the freaking head won't move up and down though. We jammed up or what? Ah, I got the track three. Eventually, it will click. Let's leave it at track three. That's a good that's a good program anyway. Yeah, you can barely even hear that. Alright. But well, we obviously got problems. So tape speed's wrong, no output in the right channel, and uh, the low output is just the fact that I'm not running through the amplifier, I'm running through the line output. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go on a limit and say this unit needs some work. So for now, that's gonna be it. Like I said, until I get time to mess with it, which I got a few more months of heat yet, so I got some other projects I got going on. So I will catch you guys uh, once the cooler weather hits.